And my subscribers asked me the other day actually what the custom slideshow option does in Microsoft PowerPoint because not many people know what it does and how it works. What the custom slideshow uh, or slideshows does, it, it's an actual powerful tool in PowerPoint allowing you to create different versions of a presentation within the same file and which can be useful when you want to present to different audiences without having to create a whole new presentation each time before i show you how to use this please like subscribe and share So I've got this presentation opened up here. This is an actual trip planner. I wanted to present to two different audiences. Uh, in my first meeting, I want to present the first three slides, so slide one, two, and three. And in my second presentation, I want to present to a different um, set of audience. And for those people, I want to present slides one, four, five, six, seven, and eight, basically everything else. So the first set of audience, audience one, two, and three. The second meeting, one and four onwards. Um, and this is what you do. This is where custom slideshow comes into its own. So the first thing you need to do is open up the presentation, which I have done here. Go to slideshow at the top in the ribbon, and then go to the left side in the sli start slideshow option here. Click on custom slideshow. It will come up with a little drop down option there, which says custom shows. I've not created any so I'm going to create one now click on that and it will come up with a pop-up box here and it will come up with an option which says new because I haven't created any before that click on new and it will come up with another pop-up box to define the custom show I'm going to give that sh um, slideshow a name so I'm going to call this for audience one um, because that's my first meeting who my first meeting is going to be with and for them I'm going to be displaying or presenting if I remember correctly slides one two and three um, select those on the left side and then click on add in the middle and it will add those slides to that custom show it will add those slides to that audience one show i can even change the order of the slides or if i'm um, re going back and evaluating what's on those slides i can remove those slides from uh, by clicking on remove i'm happy with the um, order so i'll click on ok so that's for the first meeting and for the second meeting um, i want a different um, different slides to be shown for that one um, so click on new and this one I'm going to title it audience 2 and for this one I said it was going to be slide 1 4 and everything else afterwards so it was going to skip slides 2 and 3 but you, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do different slides for a different presentations but it's in the same file click on add now what I also want to do actually I've remembered I want to move pros and cons um, to be just maybe before budget so I'm highlight pros and cons I move that up in the order and so it comes before the budget which I'm happy about and then click on OK so now what I've done is I've created two custom shows audience one and audience two I can remove it from one if I want to if I if I go back and um, wanted to change something I can highlight it click on edit I can copy it later on and add more things to it so check out those features so I'm happy with that so I click on close um, I can save my presentation if I'm happy with it it's fine um, let's say I've got my first meeting with audience one uh, I've opened my presentation up here like this um, I'm going to click on custom slideshow so go to slideshow here when I'm ready to present go to custom slideshow and click on audience one here and that way it was it'll take the presentation into slideshow mode and then when I'm happy to navigate the slides I click on enter and it's going to show the first three slides so this is slide two the next one slide three then it should finish the PowerPoint presentation it won't show the others there you go it's finished the PowerPoint presentations back to um, the slide design mode there now let's say I've got my meeting with my second set of audience go back to slideshow here go to custom slideshow and choose audience two from a custom shows and this time it's going to um, display slide one then four five six seven and eight like we discussed earlier so slide one the first slide I'll navigate or jump to slide four, five, six, seven. And look how it's put pros and cons above budget, above before budget, um, which we navigate navigated in the um, um, slideshow. And there's the last one, and that's it. So that's just a very quick and easy way. Instead of having to create two files, two presentation PowerPoint files, 
uh, for different types of audiences if you've got different meetings you can do it all within the custom slideshow here so one more time to navigate custom slideshow go to slideshow at the top in the ribbon and click on that tab go to the left in the start slideshow option bit click on custom slideshow and you'll see an option which says custom shows click on it and you can start customizing your slideshow based on who you're presenting to i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share